So he's only been with us a matter of months after joining the club from Glasgow Warriors, but he's already settling in nicely. Uh, Andrew, first of all, it must feel like home for you at the moment. It's uh, you're, you're settling in nicely into training, playing quite a few games. It must feel good at the moment. Yeah, no, it feels really good. Um, since I moved, everyone's been really welcoming. Um, I know a lot of the boys from a lot of age grade stuff. So I uh, played with a lot of the guys. So it was quite an easy transition coming across. Yeah, and it's, it's just good to be involved. The last um, kind of since I've arrived, it's been, I've been in and around the team um, week in, week out, which is good. And it's, it's, it's good for physically, but also just like to be, it, it's a positive, isn't it? Just being able to, to be in the mix and, and be playing, it's, it's always nice. So no, I'm really enjoying it and, and settling in. Who were the kind of uh, age grade guys then that you that you knew before you came over? Um, guys like Maggie, um, Lewis, uh, Murray, um, who else? Ali Miller played with played with him. Um, obviously, he's come in from the sevens and he's been training. But um, yeah, just quite a few of the boys. Um, they played the me and Muzz played our last year twenties together, and then I played my first year with um, with Lewis and Maggie. So. Yeah, it's good to have a few familiar faces about when you when you first moved to a new club. Absolutely. What what's uh, you've obviously come here. You've got a kind of, I guess, a forwards orientated coach in Cocker. You've got Stevie Laurie as well, who's a pretty uh, respected guy among the forward group as well. What have they been like? You? What's that transition been like into the Edinburgh pack? Oh no, it's been really good. Um, Cocker's has been good with me just um, around that kind of line out call. And he wants me to develop that. That's one of the things he said when I came across is that it's good, but like you can always be better. So um, just been working on the kind of minute details around the line outs, um, learning from guys like uh, Grant. He's been doing this for, for quite a while, um, calling the line outs and just learning little kind of tips and, and things off them. And then Stevie wise, just like he's, he's been great just with our kind of tight work, like the, the stuff you don't see probably, on TV or when you're watching the games around about the malls and things like that, just body position and, and getting into the seams and making a nuisance of yourself. So the, both of them have been really good so far. You, you spoke about a little bit in press about um, how hard Edinburgh train, it's a hard-working club. Mm. Can you maybe talk us through uh, an average session at Edinburgh? For example, I saw a lot about a session today. It's, it's, mm -hmm. tough. it's tough going on a Tuesday. Can you maybe just talk us through the kind of stuff that you're doing? Yeah, so Tuesdays our main training day, so it's a it's our double session, our tough day. So in the morning we'll come in, um, do our gym session, um, bit of like prep stuff, just get our bodies right, and then that morning unit session is is pretty pretty grueling. Um, we'll go into just a bit of kind of skills, kind of games to warm up, and then we're into the thick of it. We'll have a split for a bit, so the starting team will normally go away and uh, run their lineouts and the. Guys who aren't playing will run the opposition and then we'll come together for a good... Today it was it was only 20 minutes of bone on bone, which was quite nice, but um, normally it's a bit longer. Uh, we had a tough day on Thursday, so... And then it's just into... We'll just do kind of the kind of scenario base. So we'll defend goal line, um, goal line D in the line outs. Um, so it's pretty much full live, live from there um, with scrums thrown in there as well, just to keep us on our toes. So yeah, they're tough and they're tiring, but you, at the end, you, you feel better for it. Maybe, maybe not the, the kind of immediately after, but <laughs> after a, a couple of days, it's good just to get that kind of grunt done at the start of the week and build into the game nicely. So. Well, you kind of touched on it before with Gilco. You've got two mm -hmm. guys there, uh, Greg Gilchrist, Ben Tullis, you're maybe lucky or slightly unlucky that you've got them ahead of you at the moment, but what's the two things you maybe pick up from both their games? They're two very different players, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very different. Grant, uh, Gilko's more, he's a kind of line-out calling forward um, around that, so he, he leads the line-out uh, attack and defence, so it's just learning little kind of triggers from him about where things he sees in the line-outs kind of because everyone has a different approach to how they call, how they how they manage things. So it's just interesting to see different aspects of that and take them into my game. And obviously Ben, he's a good athletic jumping forward. So somewhere again, just just the way he moves in the line out more than his calling. But um, yeah, both both good to learn from those guys. You got another guy as well, Lewis Carmichael. I know he's coming back from mm -hmm. injury at the moment. Um, he's another guy who's really impressive. You know, t two years ago he's had a bit of a bad luck run with injuries, but. How uh, how impressed have you been with him since you've come over to Edinburgh? 
Yeah, no, I, I knew Lewis. I played twenties with Lewis, so we knew each other quite well from that. And uh, and obviously, he's a good player as well. Obviously, as you said, he's been unfortunate with injuries, but it's good to he's back fit now. So it'd be it'd be good to to see him involved in these kind of next next few games when the when the international boys are away. You speak about the last two games, so obviously uh, two defeats so far this season. But mm -hmm. you look at the Munster game; we, no doubt we should have won that. The Ospreys one is maybe one you just uh, you know wipe the slate clean. It wasn't a, it wasn't a pretty game in any way. So, mm -hmm. what was your prognosis of those those two defeats? Because they probably weren't as bad as probably people think. Yeah, the Ospreys game was tough. Um, we just didn't play um, the conditions well in the right uh, right areas of the park. Um, There's a lot of a lot of individual, like a lot of mistakes. We just made too many mistakes, really. Like, didn't look after the ball. Um, but it, it was tough, and it was a tough game. And as you said, we just kind of we came in on the um, Monday or the Tuesday, whenever it was, and just like we were just like Cocker said, we're not even going to really review it because it was taken from that. It was a tough game, and and the mistakes cost us. So we kind of moved on and, and kind of looked forward to Munster. And I thought in parts we we were really really good against Munster. Um, physically, we matched them in defence. Like there was some of the best defensive sets I've seen um, in that first half and the second half. It was really good, but just our, our um, ill discipline just cost us. Um, obviously, it was a disappointing to lose Yako to the yellow card, but just a lot of lot of penalties for things that we can control. So it was um, it was tough, and to lose it kind of towards the end, it was. Um, it was hard, but it was a much better performance than that Ospreys run. But yeah, discipline was just just a killer in the end. What's been said? What needs to change against uh, against Connacht? What's the kind of main work ons that have been uh, talked about this week and last week? Um, just our discipline, um, really making sure we're, we're we're not getting pinged for high tackles. We're working low on our, our low trot today in training, um, which makes a massive difference. And then just playing in the right areas of the pitch. Um, making sure that when we're exiting, we're given a good good platform for for the nines and tens to kick off, and and we're playing in the right areas and not trying to force it. And then just yeah, just make sure our discipline's spot on because we can't have that many penalties um, and let them get that many points. We just need to be um, a bit sharp, like that Bordeaux game. We were, yeah. we were really good with our discipline there, and it showed. We're just unfortunate again with a couple of mistakes, but uh, yeah, just discipline's main thing and, and, and tackle height really. What do what do Connacht bring to the table? They've obviously had a, a good win over Glasgow in round one. They, mm -hmm. They'll probably be disappointed with how they played against uh, Cardiff Blues two weeks ago, but they come uh, come to BT Murrayfield this Sunday probably with a bit of a point to prove. But so do we. Yeah, um, they they're a good team. They they play a lot. They'll play if they they like to get the ball into space and they like to play off unstructured. So for us, really, we've just got to make sure we're we're stopping them stopping them early and get, getting our line set quickly and making sure we're up in their faces, not giving them a chance to, to, to play to play around. Um, and yeah, just like putting them in the right areas, making it tough for them to play. Um, and just being being really physical, I think, is the main thing, just getting up in their faces, line speed, everything like that, just making sure we're on top of them from the, from the first whistle. Well, I know having spoken to quite a few Edinburgh rugby fans, I've been really impressed with your, your time so far at the club. Do you kind of see this this period? I guess this probably six to, to eight week period. Is there as a chance really to actually just get your name down in that team sheet and make it stays make sure it stays on the team sheet as well? Yeah, definitely. Like, look, it's uh, it's always it always happens with the Scottish teams just because it's such a small player pool, and and a lot of the Edinburgh forwards have gone away with Scotland. Um, so it's a great opportunity for me personally just to to get a bit more game time and as I say just stake a claim for and make it hard for when the guys come back from from camp um, from international stuff be like like, you, like we've been playing well so it's uh, yeah it's a great opportunity I'm looking forward to it and I hope we get off on a good foot with a win this weekend Well it's often uh, points and, and league wins they're, they're huge at this period aren't they for, for clubs mm -hmm. um, I guess what would it mean to, to probably just get our season going really this Sunday wouldn't it yeah, we've got a real good group of boys um, at the minute. Just uh, that while, while the internationals are away, like good hard hard working group of lads, and um, we just want to go out there and, and and put a good performance in and, and get that get the season off to uh, like start the season pretty much because those first two games weren't weren't great, but we um, want to move on and build and, and get a good performance this weekend and come away with a win. So yeah, definitely. Perfect. Well, listen, we look forward to. Uh, taking the field this Sunday, Andrew, and we appreciate you joining us as well. Perfect. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.